Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Secret of Mana. Um, we left the last episode with Luca being a cheapskate and not healing me, so now I have to go all the way to Gaia's navel to restore my magic. Uh, you know, she's distressed because some sort of vagrants vandalized the, um, the water palace and made off with the seed of water and you, you know I'll admit that's that's a pretty crappy thing to do that's you know I don't think I personally would steal a magical seed from a ancient palace but that's just me I can't speak for everybody um hey cannon dude what's going on can we uh get another flight to Gaia's navel he's like whoa man you're uh you're gonna run us out of gunpowder at this rate, or cannon powder, or whatever. Is it, is it gunpowder? Is that what shoots out of cannons? I know it's powder. Powder of some sort, but I, uh, I don't really know much about cannons. I don't really know much about guns. I just, um, I just know that stuff shoots out of them, and in this game, it acts as a state-of-the-art travel network. Ugh, I don't know. Um, well, we're gonna take the shortcut that our old pal Watts opened up for us, and you notice we've done a lot of back and forth in this game, at least this early into it. Um, it's like, back to the Water Palace, back to Gaia's Navel, back to Pandora. So let's go ahead and level up the Broadsword. Now we have the Herald Sword. Who's Herald? Um, okay, so... We are going... Ooh, we got a Bozorb, too. That's right. Bozorb. Sounds like it could be a Pokemon. Like a... Like the evolved form of Voltorb. Um, well, I know it's Electrode, but maybe... Maybe there's a, a Bozorb somewhere, too. I don't know. My most recent Pokemon is Pokemon Sun. So... Uh, but I'm guessing I probably would have heard of a Bozorb if it came out, so I won't, I won't just say what there is or isn't, because I don't know. Um, okay, save your game, yes, okay. Nice. Alright, cool. So, they took, remember what Luca said, they took it to Gaia's navel, or deeper. Du -du 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 -du. <gasps> There's a hole! What could this mean? Hey, Jima, the thieves are below. Next, they'll hit the underground palace. Ugh, those jerks. I'll handle this palace. Oh, no, I'll handle the palace. You check this out. Keep alert, we don't know what lies below. Hey, Mayor. What could make a hole this big? You notice how Jima always does the less dangerous thing and then sends these kids to do the real dirty work? That, uh... Doesn't seem so noble of him, if I dare say. Um, okay, so we are... Okay, here's a treasure box. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, Whipsorb, nice. Whipsorb. Hmm, another Voltorb evolution? I don't know. Aha, the water seed. How'd you get in here? You realize we can't let you leave. Ah. Welcome, we, the Scorpion Army, will rule the world. Check it out. Shut up! We took the water seed. To complete our super deluxe robot, we call it Kilroy. Hubba, hubba. Do it! Aye, aye, sir. Where are you going? Well, he has a scorpion on his cape, so I guess that's how you know he's part of the Scorpion Army. Um, okay, so... Whoa, there's a there's a mad robot of some sort. Aye, what's wrong? Too much energy, it's out of control. No, remove the seed, use the auxiliary power. So, how much will gem missile do to Kilroy? We're gonna find out. This will tell us if we should keep... Nope. So we're actually gonna use um, Freeze, so hopefully Freeze does a little bit more damage. Um... Oh yeah, 76. That's not too bad. So, uh, I believe his mallet will turn you into a Moogle if you let it hit you, so um, we're gonna try to steer clear as much as we can. 
but there's no guarantee that we won't get a hit just because, I mean, at a certain point, you do need to get in close. Especially right now. Ah, okay. Uh, maybe we will... Oh, wow. Yep, so that also moogles you if you get hit. So, uh, well, it's not guaranteed, but there's a good chance. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay, he is just wrecking us. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... We will use some cure water, and um, see, we're all feeling good and revitalized now. Ugh. That spinny attack, I tell ya. Arr. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty intense robot. I would not mess with him. If I saw him coming down the street, I would steer clear. Ugh. Oh, get out of the way, Moogles. Whoa. Ah. So uh, we're going to use some more cure water, might as well do it before we all die. Um, ugh, that spinning robot, come on man, that is crazy. You just spin? I wonder how his mallet turns people into moogles. That is weird. Like, what is it about it? Is there some sort of spell in the hammer or something? Is it the power of water? I don't know. But fortunately it does not turn the main guy into a Moogle hardly ever. Uh, I bet you the boss is getting pretty close now. Um, here. Let's use a little more Kier water, because Sulu's getting pretty close there. Um, boom! Nice! Okay, so that's how you destroy Kilroy. We don't mess around here. We're here for the water seed. We are here for revenge. Um, yay, they're all cheering. That means that something good has happened, otherwise they wouldn't be cheering. Uh, the good thing, in fact, is killing Kilroy. So we got a Javelin's Orb, too. So we got a Whip's Orb and a Javelin's Orb here. Not bad. Nuts! Oh well! See ya! Bye! Is it really that easy? Come on. Shouldn't be that easy. Let's bring it back to the Water Palace. Oh yeah, that sounds like a pretty good plan. Um... I want to purchase, um, first off, we got to refresh our cup of life noodles and the candy. So, yep, yep, keep buying it. Okay, and so we're full on that, and oh, they don't sell chocolate here. Alright, we probably don't need it. Um, now we're thinking, you don't need chocolate? What? Chocolate is delicious. I drink a cup of hot chocolate almost every day. Is, hey, I enjoy chocolate too. You know, I I get it. I get it. Uh, we're gonna stay here and uh, we're gonna rest up, get our magic back, and we're gonna be all rested up for the trials ahead. Um. Well, <laughs> spoiler alert. It's gonna be a dangerous quest full of peril. So uh, we are going to, um, first off, probably upgrade our weapons, because it's, it's nice to do that when you can. You never know when you're going to be able to see bots again. Um, you don't, you don't want to take your weapon upgrades for granted, and I'm pretty sure you can't, yeah, you can't level up the weapon's power again until you actually, um, level up the sword, or whatever, um, ugh, I am just all discombobulated right now. Um, you can't level up the, um, weapon, like, to a new charge level unless you level it up by getting an orb, and that also actually makes the weapon do a little bit more damage as well, so, not bad, the Busby got whacked, whack him. Um, that was one of my favorite parts of uh, Max Payne. Um, if anyone's, uh, it's a little bit older of a game. It's it's actually, gosh, almost 20 years old. But there's this scene. Well, uh, I don't think it's necessarily a particular scene, but uh, one of the enemies will just say "whack him," and I always I always got a kick out of it, um, just the way he said it. Uh, and that grin that Max has on his face. You don't mess with the guy who grins like that, so you gotta watch out. Okay. 
uh, Water Palace. Um, we are really excited to return this seed. We're hoping that Luca says something along the lines of, Hey, nice job, dudes. So, uh, you know, that's... If we if we get that kind of acknowledgement, then I mean it's worth it. So whoa, we're um, we're flying again, temporarily. So here's the palace. Those dudes have really good aim. Um, so hey man, what's going on here? Oh, what is this um, Ifish? That is this enemy's name is Ifish. Um, I'm not sure what it means exactly, um, like, I picture it like some, you know, like, somebody's iffy, but it's if-ish. I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't name them. I can just speculate. That's about all I can do. Oh, uh, nice job, Sulu. You have leveled up to the 13th level. So, uh, uh, water thug. Walking around with, a with a scary, uh, pitchfork. Or a spatula of some sort. I don't know. It's something that's dangerous that you don't want to get poked with. Okay. Uh, that's a we. We are just taking down these water thugs. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, and I bet you that they uh, give a lot of good magic power right now. Or experience. Um, I don't know why I said magic power. Yeah, I bet they give a lot of good experience right now, especially because this is the first time we've seen that enemy. Ah, uh, Luca! Get out of here fast! Geshtar says, Who have we here? I'm Geshtar of the Empire. Hand over that seed or Luca's had it. Don't! Uh, what will you do? Uh, I, uh, I guess we'll hand it over. Here you go. Attaboy! Ooh, it's floating up there. So glad the seed's here. Too bad we have to break the seal. Oh, darn. Um, stop it. Well, nice to have met you all. That was a very confusing interaction. Um, as a little gift, I'd like you to have my little pet. Remember to feed him. Oh, gee, thanks. Hmm. Um, alright, so we're gonna first off try some gem missiles. See how that works. Um... Wow, 95, that's pretty good. Um, how much does this cost? That costs 3, so we're not going to use that. Um, let's try Freeze. I'm curious how much that does. Freeze level 1. Does... Oh, that wasn't very good. So we'll just, um, we'll just hit him with a few more gem missiles until we're out of magic. And then, um, well, by golly, we'll do our best. That's all we can do, right? Uh, let's just, uh, let's just totally bombard him with the gem missiles. Got one left. And, uh, I know, let's get him. Okay, so, uh, we knocked one of the heads off, and, oh, we have to heal. Let's go, heal, come on. Oh, you see what I mean? I tried to get Su to, to use cure water, but it wasn't going through. So, here we go. Okay, that is going to help out a lot. Look at this poison gas. Jeez, that is in Really? Come on, that's not fair. Here I am arguing what's fair with a... Um, gosh, 27-year-old game now. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, sometimes you just got to call stuff out if you feel wronged. Um, okay, so we are going to use another... Well, we will we'll cure first, and then um, we'll do the cup of life noodles after. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I, I think we'll win. I think we got this. Really, 28? Somebody else must have stolen the hit. I don't really know how that works, but that's alright. Oh, yay, we did it! Um, so, we wasted the dude's pet about a minute after he walked out the door so yeah i guess that's how it goes so now we're all cheering and you know we're really happy that we didn't get eaten by a two-headed dragon because that really would have sucked uh we got another bozorb bozorb okay so let's go talk to luca now hey luca what's what's going on 
Oh, here's Jima. The Imperial forces have drawn back. We managed to defeat their monsters in Pandora, too. I got this from one of them. You should have it. What do you got? A Whipsorb. Another Whipsorb? Kazrael, we're running out of time. I'll return home and stop the Empire there. I'm gonna go stop the Empire now. Only a restored Monosword can beat the fortress. Talk to the Cannon Travel Man in Potos. He'll send you to the Upper Land. Cool. And now use your sword to restore the seal on the seed. Okay, touch. Now it's flying and glowing. Uh, that's how you know you did it right. We received the seed's power. Okay. Uh, Fear evil seeks the seed now. You must hurry and revive the monosaur. Go to the lofty mountains and see Sage Jock to learn about real courage. Then go to all eight of the world's palaces and reactivate all the seeds. You'll be able to receive mana power from the seeds once you reactivate them. Okay. Um, okay, bye for now. So, I guess we're gonna leave here and hope that we don't get, you know, destroyed by any water thugs on the way out. Um, so, I think I'll end the episode here, and um, if you enjoyed this, please join me on the next one. Thank you.